All right, so we're we're doing amazing stuff in repentance. Like we, I mean, I have a four streak. I figured today, Dark Judas, Tainted Judas, Mega Satan, Alt Path Delirium, Mega Satan, Alt Path Delirium. You can do Mega Satan F. You can do Mega Satan and Delirium on the same run. Yoink. That's no problem. Hey, it's a small problem. My mistake. What if I told you that her name is Rio and she dances on the sands? Uh, and suppose, hypothetically, um, that would be akin to a desert twisting through this dusty land. And then just to, for rhetoric's sake and to play the devil's advocate, we could suggest that she, when she shines, she really shows you all she can. All right, I'm just glad we're on the same page here. <clears throat> Take me in, okay. Bombs, please. I receive bombs that don't do anything for me. You receive me receiving a world card that could let me know where the secret room is, even though I have no bombs. But will she be coming around the mountain when she comes? Dude, can you imagine living in an era? I know I made this joke already about Joe Biden. Can you imagine living in an era where, like, she'll be coming around the mountain was a contemporary song? Like, just imagining, like, being alive in, like, the early 1900s, but also Twitter exists somehow, and they're like, you know... <laughs> Some dude with a mustache, like, waxed into the shape of a Dutch windmill or something like that is like, New drop coming! Get your wax cylinders ready! June 15th, 1907! She'll be riding six white horses when she comes! She'll be riding six white horses when she comes! She'll be riding six white horses, she'll be riding, riding six white horses, she'll be a dying to the dingle when she comes! Great song, though, in some ways. Very, very singable, for sure. Damn, son, where'd you find this? I uh, would like HP, please. This is not going to give me HP. I think it's going to give me tears. Yeah, <laughs> nailed it. Hero's Medallion. Spirit hearts? Hmm. <laughs> no, thank you. Spirit? I will receive a spirit heart. There's a trade offer for you. Yeah, I can't imagine. The people were probably like pissed off when. Um... Oh, by the way, thank you, Vernal Parthog. Thank you for the. I think I said your name completely wrong. Um, but thank you for the gifted subs, thank you. I'm sure people were pissed off when Tchaikovsky came out with the 1812 Overture, and they're like, you're telling me to perform this myself? I have to, like, buy two cannons? Like, what an asshole. Vernal Path OG. Okay, so it's not Vernal Parthog, my mistake. <laughs> Does Vancouver have any versions of big things, like Sudbury's Wooden Nickel? Um... Not really, but, like, the Vancouver tourism, uh, stuff is pretty weak, honestly. Like, I think it's a great city to live in, at least, you know, if you ignore the financial cost to live here. But, like, it's, it's gorgeous. But the tourism stuff is, like, there, there's a steam clock in Gastown that isn't even old, but they conveniently, like, leave that out of all the marketing material. Um, like, I'm pretty sure the steam clock was built in, like, the 1970s. Yes. But people just assume that because it's a steam clock, that it must be from, like, you know, the, the Klondike Gold Rush or something like that. But it's genuinely, like, it's probably younger than your parents. And apparently, yes, I've heard as well it's not even steam-powered. Um, we do have a geodesic dome, like the one from PUBG, called the TELUS World of Science. I mean, there is, there's tourist stuff here. 
Stanley Park is a really good example, um, but it, it's not like, you know, the world's largest ball of twine or whatever, as much as that would be pretty freaking sweet. But most, yeah, I, I agree with the people who are saying most of the tourism in Vancouver is like, come to our city and then go outside. It's, it's very nice. It's like if, if you want to fly to a city and then go on walks, let me tell you, it's up there. No question about that. It's one of the best. <laughs> You're going to do this to me, huh? Well, it's definitely it's better than the scissors. <laughs> All right, so be it. Hmm, okay, it, it's diagonal. It could be here. Oh! <laughs> Okay, hold on a second. We we sleep for certain. That's still pretty good. Donkey, donkey. Isn't Stanley Park the biggest park in an urban area? Uh, it definitely wouldn't surprise me. I I know it's it's noteworthy for something along those lines. I I actually thought it might be like one of the biggest parks i was gonna say one of the biggest parks in the world but i think that now that i think about that for more than a second that makes no sense at all but it is the fact that stanley park is literally like is huge and it's in downtown vancouver is like it's crazy is it bigger than central park i don't know i mean i know central park is is pretty huge stanley park is 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 quite big though like it's like, biking around the circumference of Stanley Park would probably take you, like, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes, something like that. What's your opinion on White Spot? Horrible name, but I actually, the, the, White Spot is, is a, like, a fast casual, like, dining chain in BC. Um, I, I like it, man. The chicken strips, they're like the dry, crumbly chicken strips, like, they hit different. The fries are probably no more real. I'm a genius than any other uh, like fast food fry, but they feel real because they have like a little potato skin still on them. Like if I if I go to a Canucks game, like I mean, just to be honest, I'm going to go to whatever concession stand is closest to my section. Um, but I always hope that it's the Y spot because I'm like, dude, three chicken strips hits the spot in the first period. Guardian Angel, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see all the I see all the white spot jokes. Trust me, I've I've made some of them myself to begin with. We're on the second floor? What the heck is I I honestly thought I was on Caves 2 right now. <laughs> Owns. Okay, we don't go to the deal with the devil because we want to get to the we want to get to Mega Satan. Everything's going according to plan right here, man. Everything's going according to plan. Have you ever been to the sandbar on Granville? I I have not. Um, but I there used to be a sandbar like I think maybe I'm thinking of a different place, but out in like Kitsilano. I would drive by it now and then, and I'd be like, oh, weird, like a beach-themed restaurant. What's up with that? But I, I genuinely, like, I try to stay away. And I, I, I don't apologize, by the way, for making so much of this content, like, BC exclusive. Because, like, did you... When I was on school yesterday, people would just talk about Chick-fil-A all the time. What am I supposed to say? Oh, we don't really have that here. You know, could you please, like, make it more BC-specific? No, man, you speak about what you know. This is BC, uh... This is BC-specific content. Everybody else get out. Just kidding. But, like, be cool. <laughs> anyway, I try to stay to, uh, away from Granville Street. Uh, at least, you know, like, around the downtown area as much as possible. Because, uh... It's an unpleasant place to be. That was just don't don't speak to me about that. Oh, the sandbar is on Granville Island. Okay, no, I I've only eaten on Granville Island like a couple of times. Granville Island is pretty is pretty cool. 
In in it's, in some ways it's cool, in some ways it isn't. But Lee's Donuts is is uh, is popping, man. You gotta look. Secret shop. I ate at um, I ate at a restaurant on Granville Island called Bridges once, and it was not that good, and clearly only existed. Um, because it had an amazing view and patio and then I went back like just before the pandemic I think I, I went back with uh, My in-laws and we went to the same place. It was under new management. and It was pretty good So there if you if you ever find yourself on Granville Island in in Vancouver, British Columbia And you can get to bridges then hey you say the Eggman sent me and they'll be like what? And then, I don't know, just order like a wood-fired pizza or something like that. It'll probably be pretty good. <laughs> you know why I'm here. I'll take the Eggman meal. Diagonal on the right side? Oh, oh you're lucky. You ever ridden a horse? I, I have not ridden a horse. Um... I have not. That's all I got. I, th I thought maybe I'd have more uh, to speak about. I've, I've been around horses. I grew up uh, adjacent to several farms. I grew up in an, in an area where most of my neighbors were farmers. I don't think I've ever ridden a horse myself. Not that I can recall, anyway. A spirit heart. Fantastic. Would you ever ride a horse? I don't know. Um, it depends, I guess. You know? I mean, wait, what's the context? Hey, you're at like a petting zoo? I mean, I don't know if it's what you do at a petting zoo now that I think about it. I mean, I'm not gonna like... If it, if it was for like a TV show or something like that, and it was like, hey, we're gonna put like this uh, city slicker on a horse, then I'd be like, sure, I'm not gonna... I mean, what's it gonna do? You know? I guess it could cause me to fall off and suffer catastrophic injury, but, you know, the odds of that are pretty low. I would I would give it a try. Why not? But if it was just like, hey, you want to get up on this horse? If it was like a family barbecue or something, I'd probably be like, eh, not really. Such a fresh eye. Dude, we need some damage ups. More like, nay, not really? I get it. I get it. Maybe I'd do some dressage, though. That's a joke. I don't even really know what uh, dressage is. But I, I did, I think, I look, I know, I don't mean to be insulting to anybody, but I think every you know, school, pro probably every environment in general has, uh, you know, a, a few horse girls. But I think that I went to school with, like, an above average amount of horse girls because I grew up in the country as well. Like, in my graduating class of, like, 80, I think there were probably, like, five or six horse girls, which is, like, a one in eight incidence rate. What is a horse girl? Look, okay, I'm not, I, like, I don't want this to be seen as, like, bullying. But if you went to school with a girl that, like, she wore, like, sweaters that were knitted and had, like, a wool horse in the center of it, or she was always talking about horses, and, like, any photo you ever saw of her, she was wearing, like, a riding helmet and boots and stuff like that. And for some reason, it seemed like they always had, like, a long ponytail. I, I, I wish that I couldn't say that because it seems like too obvious, but genuinely it was like, it, it really did seem like horse girls always had the longest hair for some reason. I don't know why. It usually named like maybe Becky or 
or like Kelsey or something like that. Fran. I, I don't know any Frans, but I'll take your word for it. Emily. Yeah, there you go. I'm just <laughs> trying to make any enemies. I'm just saying. Well, I need to keep a bomb for an angel statue, but I also uh, require some stats at some point. So let's go ahead and pick this up. Ooh. <laughs> And then, you know what? Give me some stats. The gauze, nothing wrong with the gauze. Purge a curse on the next floor. And I want to be clear, this is not like a, you know, girls versus guys thing. There's also, like, the, the analog is definitely uh, car guys. And there's probably, like, an order of magnitude more car guys than, than horse girls, for that matter. And horse girls, like, they're not really bothering anybody. They go out to, like, you know, the equestrian pit or whatever. You know, that dirt ring you ride around and they, you know, you put one of those brushes on their hands and stroke the mane of their horse and, and tell it all their secrets and stuff like that. But that's, you know, that's in their own life, you know? They, they can do whatever they want. The car guys are a little bit more annoying. Because then when you pull out of the high school, they're like, Vroom! 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 And, you know, you get the idea. Nun's habit. I think I almost gave myself, like, a cerebral embolism by making that noise. Everybody went to high school with, like, you know... Five dudes named Oliver who couldn't pull out of the high school in their car without turning it like 78 degrees on the speed bump so that their aftermarket muffler didn't scrape along the ground. Like, it's just... It's an archetype. And it's an archetype for a reason. What was my archetype in, in high school? Um, I don't know, like... I, I was like a background character, to be honest. I'm not saying I was archetypeless. But, uh... I just, I, I existed only within the confines of the school. I was like socially, uh... Inert. I was a noble gas. I didn't react to anything. Um... I was the kind of kid who would make jokes about the periodic table. I was commonly known as Mouth's friend. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I was like a Benvolio, you know? Like, I just uh, wasn't really a main character. I was, I was there. I was, um, you know, not, not disliked, not loved. Just sort of like, you know, one of those kids who was like in school. Just hanging out. Yeah, I was, I was an NPC. I was a quest giver, exactly. You got it. <laughs> but now I'm the final boss. Maybe, maybe the final boss of week eight of Schooled, anyway. He was the guy with white gel lines on the side of his head. Hey, I'm, I'm very lucky that that was in ninth grade, I guess, so it didn't come to define my entire legacy. But that, that was a, that, a, a low point for me in high school. That was just, I don't know what I was doing. Because, like, in ninth grade, you know, I was coming out of middle school. I remember, like, in one of our classes, we had to fill out, like, a bio. And the bio was, like, um, it, you had to finish the sentences. So it was, like, my favorite food is blank. My favorite subject is blank. And I hate that I remember this because it's so embarrassing. But I took myself, like, way too seriously. And in, uh... Like, I, I was one bad day away from being the kid who wears a suit to school for a little bit, for sure. And I remember that one of the questions was like, I enjoy reading about dot dot dot, and I, I swear on my life, I filled that in with, I enjoy reading about the human condition, comma, who doesn't, question mark. And you're just like... You're 13. What the hell are you talking about? Like, the most recent book I read was probably, like, the Halo novelization of The Fall of Reach. 
Oh, I love to read about the human condition. This doesn't even make any sense. It is. <laughs> anyway, um, this is a good shop, man. Let's hear me out here just for fun. We might as well use this. Then we'll buy the nine volt and get another charge. I'm in this picture and I don't like it. Dude, I'm telling you. I enjoy reading about the human condition. Who doesn't? Hmm, yes, I am also very intelligent. Mm, my favorite book? Mm, I haven't read it, but I'd like to think that I would enjoy In Search of Lost Time by Marcel Proust. Could this... How many secret things exist in, in one uh, floor? There's like a secret shop. You can get a secret... You can get like a, a bonus, a bedroom. There's only one? Okay, never mind. I, I was testing you and you failed. <clears throat> what would you fill in the blank with now? Behavioral economics. Like, it's not a better answer, but at least it's... It, at least I'm no longer pretending to be something that I'm not I, in order to get like some, I don't know, some street cred or something. Instead, I'm like, you know, just embarrassingly admitting, yeah, you know, <laughs> Daniel Kahneman novels. D1's fun, but I mean, the, I, I'm happy with where we stand. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Second secret room? I'm always so stoked to see a holy card until I remember that, like, there's really no reason to be excited for it. You wouldn't mention chat? Uh, it, well, it said I enjoy reading, not I'm uh, compelled to read or coerced into reading. It's two different things. Don't you... He will never read about the human condition. I don't even know what that means, man. What the heck? Like, it's just something people used to say. Ah, the human condition. I don't even know what that means. The, the spirit of being a person? Like, it's it doesn't make any sense. Hold on. What What's this thing? Whatever, give me a second. <laughs> what the heck is this thing? It's bad. Okay, I appreciate that. Thank you. Bad? Oh, corpse explosion! Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna take it... Not necessarily because it's bad. Um, but more because, like, Red Key... You know, this is the redemption of Red Key. Seraphim's pretty good, too. Especially when our damage is still, like, a little... A little whack. For those of you asking, uh, by the way, I did not see the Nintendo Direct. I also don't care at all about spoilers. Um, it's a commercial. So, like, all the... I, I I heard some stuff about it. I'm I'm definitely not, like, please don't talk about it. I'm going to watch it for myself later and decipher my pre-orders from there. We're good, we're good. I'm I'm new WarioWare is cool. New uh new golf uh trailer was shown. Mario Party uh getting a, a, a new game? New game in October that's like a redo of some of the NES maps, which is like literally what people have been asking for, I feel, which is is cool. Like, it, 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 everyone's complaint about Super Mario Party is like, for the love of God, just please make the maps better. So I think that that's a, that's a positive. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try something a little spicy here. I say NES. I meant, I meant N64 Mario Party. My mistake. Free Infamy. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I was trying to think of what else. I saw they're adding Jin Kazuya into Super Smash Brothers. 
Yeah, let's do it. I'm not scared. That's a that's a huge improvement. New Metroid. The the thing about WarioWare, I love oh sorry, it's Kazuya Mishima, my mistake. It's not Jin Kazuya. I apologize. I've only seen the Tekken movie, so that's And I, I played a little Tekken 2 at a hotel once. That's it. Judas looking pretty cool. No no question there. <clears throat> The, oh, I was gonna say, the thing about WarioWare, I always get, like, super hype, and I love WarioWare, like, it's, it's one of my favorite Nintendo properties, but I, I laugh because, like, I, I'm always like, I'm so stoked for WarioWare, then it comes out, and I beat the game in, like, under three hours, and I'm like, ah, oh, when are they gonna make a new WarioWare? It's like, I, I wait ten years for each game, and then, like, you know, you... Literally, it's like, hey, press a button, and you're like, I press the button, and they're like, you win. But I, I love it. I, I can't deny that. Stoked for the Mario Golf stuff, no doubt about that. Donkey, donkey, dicky, dicky, dunk. We're gonna take Squeezy later. Don't, don't fear Squeezy. We're not taking it yet, just because we can get a. Uh, a tears upgrade whenever. Um, help me. Help me. Um, but we want the spirit hearts when it's most applicable. It actually, I'm going to lose this bone heart so we can hold a spirit heart instead. You already took it? Yeah, that's what I, I mean. Hypothetically, if I didn't take it, this is what I would be saying right now. <clears throat> Which I, oh, did I not mention? Did you not hear that part? Short term memory just totally fried. <laughs> I was freaking I was drained like like bloody after the the school stuff man I can't believe it took all the power like all the juice left in my mind just to be able to uh hold it together for 2 hours of Isaac after that but uh I really I I think it was when like, I did the algebra question at the end, and my brain had to, like, quantum tunnel back in the ninth grade to learn how to, uh... Or to remember how to do, like, you know, solving an expression via substitution or elimination. And then my brain was like, alright, I'm taking the rest of the day off. And I was like, you know what? I'm fine with that. I, I appreciate that you, uh... That you... you you came out for me in the clutch, and then that's no problem. You know, I'll, I'll see you next week, maybe. Stitches ain't so bad. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! No, no problem with this. Look, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not talking smack about anybody else that was on the show, okay? But when almost half of the lobby thought that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle are either 45 or 90, I was like... My my confidence level went up a little bit. And I it's not nice to say. But I was like, if the rest of these questions are around that level, like, I'm feeling pretty good. Not that I'm going to win, but that I'm not going to at least embarrass myself <laughs> too much. But then the irony is I still ended up embarrassing myself by saying that Queen Elizabeth was the first... Uh, she, she created the Church of England to break with the Roman Catholic Church. I'm not nervous for, for next week, um, but I do think, I, I mean, I'm trying to dispel people's uh, idea that it's going to be, like, a, an easy win. Because, um, like, some of the other, and, and I'm going on secondhand knowledge here, but some of the other weeks from school apparently had some, like, very impressive performances, like, uh, in particular, like, Hungry Box. Apollo was telling me, like, he, he used to work as, like, an, not not only did he go to school for engineering, but he uh, also worked as an engineer for a time. 
It's like getting your degree in biology is one thing. You actually have to demonstrate uh, a good ability to problem solve, I think, to get a degree in engineering. <laughs> So we'll, I don't know, it's, I, I'll, I'll do my best, you know, I'm, I'm just happy to be part of the finals regardless, but it's, it should be fun. It can't, you know what, let's just, I'm just going in, let's get lost in the freaking walls, man. Let's get lost in the walls. I don't even know what I'm doing back here now. <laughs> Give it a sec, just give it a sec, just give it a sec, I'm in. Okay. We got so much money, man. We got Keeper's Elbow, right? Yeah, okay, we gotta start buying stuff. Careful, you might get error rooms when you're in the in the walls. Okay, fair enough. Let's not do that then. Anyway, it was fun. I'm I'm excited to. I'm excited to be a part of it. We don't care for the IV bag. What would you do if you win? You don't want to know, dude. You don't want to know. Because, like, it's just going to make you mad. I know people are like, you know, buy crypto. And I'm like, nah, man. People are like, get a gamer chair. I'm like, nah, dude. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy a basket of market cap weighted broad based global index funds. So, like, don't ask questions you don't want to hear the answer to, okay? Snooze, snooze, snooze. Could be... No, it cannot be there. Okay, good to know. The booba joke hit yesterday. Yeah, I was worried that maybe it hit a little close to home. I said that if I... Oh, let's go, dude. <laughs> I said that if I won, I would put the money in the booba coin and cum rocket token for the baby's college fund. It's kind of a disappointing... Giga chest here. Come on. The Wild well, Simple Cash App thing was really good too. Dude, I'm so stoked. Like, you, you'll laugh. The. Well, I hope so. That's kind of why I'm here to begin with. But, like, I get an email every time somebody, like, signs up with the referral code. And I basically woke up to, like, an inbox full of, like, this person was referred thanks to your code. And I'm assuming that it's because. The clip, like, made it on the live stream fail. And as a result, got, like, a... I don't know, it's probably at, like, 100,000 views or something like that now. So, like, I want to tell the sponsor, like, hey, check this out. Like, you know, you guys made a great choice <laughs> sponsoring me. But I also don't want them to see live stream fail. And be like, what have we associated ourselves with? And then maybe I'm gonna have to go on some like rabbit hole explaining that like I'm not really like on the subreddit that much. Like usually it's it's not uh, really the kind they don't post many of my clips there. The the clips require too much context. But when I'm posted there, people are bizarrely like really nice to me, which is great. He's an evil person with the baby. I think cause we're, we're trying to fight Mega Satan. I think well, we have the shop was greed, greed shop. Come on, man, come on. People are nicer to you on on live stream fail than they are on your own subreddit. It's true, but I've made that joke so much now that I actually like feel bad about it. Like I don't I don't feel bad for myself. I feel bad for the posters. <laughs> the 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 vanguard of the egg defense squad on R slash Northern Lion. I feel bad that it just makes their life harder. So we don't need to go down that road. Okay. Um Mega me, we're gonna try Mega Satan Delirium. Mega Satan Delirium. Do 
the egg defense squad. Dude, and that's the other thing, dude. I th Ronaldo is hilarious. I was laughing. I mean, I, I hate to say because, again, we don't need to dredge this up. But it's, I'm, I'm only dredging it up for humor. But somebody posted, like, it's really funny that, like, during the show, like, members of the community were like, this is why I don't watch other streamers. I only watch, in like, amazing, incredible erudite streamers like this guy with a biology degree. Um, who then, like, abandoned it to go to, uh, basically be a daycare provider in South Korea for a year, but he, like, reads books sometimes, so I think I'm smart. Um, and then, like, meanwhile, like, as soon as the show ended, I was like, man, everybody else that was on that was, like, freaking hilarious, man. I had a great time. Can we discuss the Rick and Morty Fortnite skin? Yeah, sure, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> What do you want to talk about? I will say the the latitude longitude question. I mean, it's a literal 50-50, but I think it for me it was more like a 65-35. For some reason in my head, I just remember that uh, long is tall for some reason. But then I was like, wait a minute, lat has like the letters T A L in it. Maybe like that's supposed to be tall, or maybe I know that. Lat looks like tall, but don't let that trick you. I was like going 17 layers deep on the mnemonics to try to figure out where I stood, but I was that that one I was holding my breath just a little bit. You gotta challenge Germa to battleship. I still I still don't know what he was talking about, but I'm, I'm receptive. What the heck was he talking? I, I was telling you, this guy, he's, he's, he owns a uh, stake in, in Hasbro or something. Remember when you said Red Key was bad? Hey, people change, all right? That was old me. Back then, when I, when I wrote all that stuff about how Red Key sucked and I hope it uh, dies, that was a diff I was a different person back then, okay? Now I respect that, that Red Key has its uses. Remember when you said Seven Seals was bad? Hey, like the jury's still out on that one, alright? <laughs> oh, the battleship bit is from his stream. When chess got big, he predicted that Battleship would be the next thing. Okay, I understand. Going down to the next floor? Yeah, yeah. Why NL looking like a soy jack? It's true. Um, if you're bald and you have like a little beard, you kind of end up looking like soy jack for sure. There's nothing you could do about it, but I take solace in the fact that um, I could probably physically easily lift anyone over my head that has ever said the word soy jack in public, even if they're on day 180 of their semen retention program. So I, I'm not super offended by the comment. I, um, I just merely ask you your mass, um, and how high the ceilings are in the room in which you're currently residing because I don't want to like break a light fixture or something what about day 181 no I mean that's why I said 180 because day 181 I think is where the superpowers kick in and you can start seeing through walls and stuff trade offer meet me at the steam clock I just want to talk yeah but don't meet me like um around the, the hour or even like 10 minutes before the hour because it gets like really busy it gets mighty mighty busy around there you can't even walk on the sidewalk because people are like oh i gotta take a photo of this thing when it turns you know 8 p.m so many uh I'm, I'm sure those videos turn out really nicely on on facebook when they get posted check it out it's the steam clock 
Anyway, it's um beautiful beautiful city of light. Skyscrapers with elegant lines. It's like taking a video of fireworks. I hear you, man, like No. <laughs> Absolutely not. I was excited to see it, but let's let's move on. I'm not doing it. Like, there's some stuff. I mean, I, you know what it is? Is It's like... I'm not that cynical about people taking photos. I take a lot of photos. I don't really take photos of, like, you know... Food or anything like that. But, like, if you scroll through my... Like, on my phone. It's literally just, like, baby, 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 baby. Cats, baby, baby, cats, baby, 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 baby. It's just... And, like, once a year on, like, the first nice day of the year when I take a walk... I, uh, I'll, like, take a photo of the outside just for me and then be like, wow, it's nice. Maybe I'll send it to, like, my mom, right? Um, but I do, I, it, it's just another feather in the cap of, like, disliking social media is, is that, like, and, and this is, like, way too, like, Donnie Darko, like, edgelord for my usual sunny disposition. But, like, when you're at something that's cool... And you know, you have to know that it photographs badly, or videos badly, like a concert, or fireworks, or, you know, many things of, of the same ilk. You're like... And we're going down. We're going down here. We're going down. You're like robbing your current experience to then post a shitty video on Twitter, or Facebook, or Instagram, whatever, that just serves as like a social, uh, like a, a participation trophy in your, in your cap. That's like, check it out. Bloody e is draining my favorite song right now. And you're like, well, if it's your favorite song, why didn't you listen to it? And then like, not lose 10 seconds of the experience for clout that ends up being like meaningless. You know what I mean? I know it's a cold take. I'm not anti-phone. It's just, if anything, I'm, I resent that this is being called a boomer take. Because, like, most of the times I find this thought creeping up in my head is I see, like, a 65-year-old lady with her iPad trying to take a photo of the sunset. Is is very much not, like, you know, 17-year-old kids, like, taking a photo of, like, a lunar eclipse or something like that. I'm just... We don't need Satanic Bible, dude. Curse Key's been very good for us. This MF talking about bloody. Love him. Been draining for years. I've been draining longer than bloody's probably been alive, to be honest with you. I'm not saying they learned it from me. I work in a tire center at Costco, and a mom recorded me changing her tires extremely Ryan Reynolds voice from Harold and Kumar go to White Castle but why you know I, I hate to say it because this assumes the worst in people the only thing I can imagine there is that she was like I want to film this in case you screw it up and then I can you know freaking sue your ass That's from Harold and Kumar. Wrong. You can go look up the clip. It's from uh, it's from Harold and Kumar go to White Castle when Ryan Reynolds is playing the heart surgeon. It is not from Van Wilder. I, I promise you this. You you might be living in a in a Berenstein Bears universe right now. It's more likely than you think. Yeah, he takes off his mask and he goes, but why? <laughs> Thoughts on Ryan Reynolds? Look, I think he's a, I think he's the, the perfect fit for a Deadpool. Um, 
I find his... I, I Much like Jason Bateman, I find that over time, I've found him like more grating because he seems to always play a very similar type of character that is just him. But he also, like, all the stuff he does for the community, especially in, in BC, he seems like a very nice guy. I'm not, I'm not holding anything against him. He seems like an affable individual. I think we're good to go. Why not? Why not? You ever seen him at the white spot? <laughs> I've never I've never seen him at the white spot. Him and, and Miss Lively. They might have their own private white spot for all I know. Yeah, he seems like a nice guy. I mean, I don't know that for sure, but I have no reason to assume that he's not a nice guy just because, like, in every movie, he's just kind of playing Wade Wilson. Um... I forgot what I was talking about a moment ago. Hold on. There was, I had a good bit coming up. Oh, that's, someone said, what about Jason Schwartzman? Jason Schwartzman? For real, like, one of the most underrated uh, actors in Hollywood. You're talking about Bloody. Jason Schwartzman's, uh, he's a classic, man. Oh! Saved! <laughs> okay, okay, hold on, hold on. This Genesis is freaking sick, man. But I think we have to use it on the dark room. I think we go down a floor and use it, and then when we use it on the dark room, we'll be fine. Like it'll it'll keep us on the it'll it'll take us to the next floor, but the next floor will be the dark room. You can take you, know, you can take both, right? My mistake. Sorry, I got. Well, you're gonna laugh in a second, but okay. So for anybody not familiar with what Genesis does, um, you lose the key no matter what. E even if you use Genesis now, you get taken to another room. You can't uh, you can't keep the key. So what Genesis does is it takes away all of your items and then allows you to draft from a pool of three for each item that you lost. So, essentially, and we might not be able to fight Mega Satan as a result of this. You know what? I'm like, okay, what, <laughs> what if you fight Mega Satan and then use it? You, you'll be fine? Okay, well, I'm gonna hold you to that. The door is already open? Yeah, but when you use Genesis, it teleports you out, and then you go into a new room that takes you into another... It doesn't take you back to the same level. It reinstantiates the floor, doesn't it? You have the Fool card? I don't know if that'll work. But let's... Uh, that's... I'm, I'm willing to try. I'm willing to try that. If it doesn't work, it's still fun. If it doesn't work, it's still fun. Oh, you lose the Fool card. It doesn't reset the floor? Okay, I'm just saying. It doesn't reset the floor, LOL. Cap, Charlissimo. This is for the trunk. It doesn't reset the floor, LOL. The LOL of pure confidence. Cap Charlissimo. It may not. This may just take us down to the same version of the floor we're already on. So don't don't have that believe anything just yet. Okay, for now though, let's draft our run, okay? First item, we take... Dirty Mind is pretty good, don't get me wrong. We take uh, Blood Bombs. For the bombs and a little HP. <laughs> so I, the one thing I need to note, what you draft from for your pool is determined by the item you gave up. So if you had four angel items and then you Genesis, you're going to get to draft 
from a pool of three angel items four times, which is super in impressive. But obviously, we're going angelic brimstone. On this, we, we take uh, tears upgrade. <laughs> On this, we say I sleep, but I take a skinny odd mushroom. Probably go straight for the mark on that one. That's a good one. I'll take uh, Holy Light. Not even... I guess it'll still work. Ladder, because it, it's going to drop us on the Dark Room. So the ladder... We're, we're probably not going to have enough money to make it work. So instead, we're... we're and this is the same thing. I mean, it, it's, too use, it, it's too late for it to be useful. So we take Guardian Spear. <laughs> Squeezy is a great item for us right here. Uh, I guess we return to, to seven seals. Out of these, I guess, you know, you take matchbook for the demon hearts. <laughs> it's too it's too much, man. I don't wish to diplopia this. Um I'm just gonna take mini monstro for now. I'll probably diplopia this. And we'll take uh, Godhead, Angelic Prism, Monstrance. I gotta be honest, obviously like a second Godhead seems incredible. But like a second Prism seems kind of cool too if they could... Yeah, people are saying double Prism. I kind of agree. That's kind of neat. Um... I definitely don't think Chaos is the play. I'll, I'll take a little Tarot Cloth here. We already knew it was going to be High Priestess. It's no big deal. The Mind is uh, is fine, but we don't really need it. I'll probably go Nun's Habit. hope to get a Space Bar item at some point. I don't know how many we have left. Um, honestly, we could use some range. <laughs> but I guess I'll take Hero's Medallion. So it's a range up. Okay. Man, this is... Uh, you take the damage, but that's a good choice. I mean, come on. You gotta try, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Now we're talking. Well, we definitely want another tiers upgrade. Might as well take another tears upgrade. What the heck is this, man? I ain't never seen this item before in my life. Friend finder? It's a bad active item. I I feel like I want to pick it up just to have it unlocked at least. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, well, out of these, we we just take Sacred Heart. That's a gimme. It's a great choice, don't get me wrong. A little more damage, never hurt anybody. Dude, Worm Friend is pretty good. At this point, we're already, like, we're doing so well on HP. I don't really feel like we need Dark Bum. But, uh, you know, if, if we do Delirium, I guess we'll want it. Okay, so that's that. We're, we're tapped out there. Regardless, we'll go, we'll go sleep in the bed. What a run. And we'll see what these do, at least. Because I, I don't know what a telepills would do for us here. But that's fine. And we got four kidney beans. <laughs> now, this is where we determine if this was all for not. Yo! Great intel! Look at that. We just get the head... Cap Charlissimo. You are, you are saved. And hold on. Yeah. VIP Cap Charlissimo. They're 24 hour VIP status. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, Sulfur is like pretty incredible. I, I think you just send it, man. Sorry, Friend Finder. We <laughs> gave us Leviathan anyway. Oh, man. Okay. Um, and then, so Mega Satan is one thing. But then we also want, um, we want this to spawn a Delirium Portal. <laughs> Let's go, dude. It's pretty good. It seems pretty good. What a run. 
What's messed up is that this is actually like the third best run I've had this week. That one tainted blue baby run we had was like, I, I think it was tainted blue baby at least, it was like absurd. Um, and we had a we had another one that I, I or tainted Bethany. We had an amazing tainted Bethany run recently that went to Mega Satan too. I don't know. It's all all jumbles together in the head a little bit. And dude, the the double prism like might have affected us negatively from a statistical standpoint, but from a, a fun standpoint, like I mean, it's not even close. It, it also seems to have, like, almost the exact charge time necessary, whoops, <laughs> to allow us to get the angelic, uh, brim to pop on it, like... Like that, for example, although he was not ready for it. Use the card. You, you laugh and you kappa. I'm not using it again. We'll, we'll see if we get Delirium. We'd, we'd rather have it ready, I think. You laugh and you kappa, but with pajamas, in theory, we could kind of try it. How are you taking so little damage? Like, I, I should just be smacking you with regular Brim. Except in situations like this. Beautiful. I'm not using Sulfur again, okay? Because we're going to easily kill Mega Satan. I want to save it just in case we get some tough delirium rooms right off the bat. This this fight's already over. You know it. I know it. It's already done. If we don't get delirium, it's still an amazing run. But we got delirium. <laughs> Let's go. No comment. I continue to be here. And now I'm happy we actually took Dark Bomb. Yo, Hansa Consulting. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. What a run here. Been having some great Isaac lately, man. I can't really complain. I mean, every time we win as a character that is not Tainted Jacob, Tainted Lost, Tainted Eden, or Tainted Kane. We just kick that can like a little bit more down the road and you know we're gonna have like probably a week or two that is just those characters but uh so what it's fun man we we do be having a fun time though <laughs> This guy needs to get drained. Useless, I think? Please stop using sulfur? What do you mean, stop using sulfur? It's bad? You know what? I, I, upon further review, I actually think you might be right. I think a double sulfur might actually be better, but if we can't get double, I, I'm, I'm inclined to agree with you here, believe it or not. I think I'm stronger without it, thanks to the Godhead AoE. Tainted Kane next run. Um, how about no, Scott? I attempt to shag your rod. How about some challenges? I really, in my head, I'm like, the challenges are how I'm gonna cap this off. Like, not, not this run, but like the save file. I'm admittedly like not following my own advice and I'm procrastinating the things I don't want to do and saving them for the end. But I'm, I'm on a wave right now, honestly. That's Soul of Isaac, that's, that's pretty good. Ho my dream is we get a better space bar item than we Soul of Isaac on the Sulfur to pick up a a passive instead. <laughs> okay. Mission accomplished. Not mission accomplished. Kind of funny though.
Okay. Bro. Chop Delirium up? It's, he's already hard enough to dodge, man. That's, that's too much. You ever notice how Delirium is just Monstro, but from a top-down angle instead of an isometric angle? Oh, you're not ready for that one yet. No? Yo, look at them. They look the same. It's like almond milk and buddy in a box. They're like, it's the same item. You talking about the meat one or the salad one? <laughs> Alright, we, we got a great run here. Obviously, but... Uh, sometimes on Delirium, you know, looks can be deceiving, but this is this is a truly spectacular one. Damage is, is running freaking wild. No problem. This was a good one, man. I I mean, this, this run had everything you could ask for. Uh, except the health bar on Delirium. Uh, there were there were plus twos, there were minus twos. There was banter, there was new Isaac mechanics. I really like Genesis. I think it might be the most fun item in the game. It's like a it, it's like a a draft reroll. The fact that we found it in the cursed uh, red key secret room just makes it that much better. We have now unlocked Dark Arts. Look at that. Finally. And that's not quite the end of uh, Tainted Judas, but pretty close. And a streak of five. Would you look at that? Slash marker, best run ever. All right, we're going to run it back. And